organization which has been absolutely central to this effort is Stand With Us. Stand With Us, which is based across the country. The director of Stand With Us, Roz Rothstein, is here, and I know she's got a wonderful speech. Roz Rothstein, director of Stand With Us. Thank you. You look great out there, guys. I just went across the street, and let me tell you, you look great. So thank you all, each one of you, for being here today. First, let us thank Christine Brim of the Center for Vigilant Freedom, who absolutely did the lion's share of the heavy lifting here in Washington for this last minute project. Thank you, Christine. And thank you to Kristen Taylor from the Free Republic, Andrew Summy from the David Project, Jim Hutchins from the Jerusalem Connection, Pamela Hall from the United American Committee, Michelle Rojas from Stand With Us, and all of you who worked so hard to bring this last minute Stand for Israel rally to life. Thank you all. Thank you to the student leaders, Harry Baumgarten, thank you. Thank you for trying to galvanize Washington, and here you are. We're here together. I came in from California. How many of you are here from Washington, D.C.? Thank you for being here today. There's no place else that we should be right here and now than right here together. We are here because Jews are once again being persecuted. This time they're being persecuted though they live in their own state, Israel. And sadly, persecution is not new to us. I am the child of a Holocaust surviving family. The world stood by during the 1930s when Adolf Hitler spread hatred and prepared for the evil ahead, rounding up and slaughtering Jews. And the world did nothing when Europe ethnically cleansed its countries of the Jewish people. And just a few years later, the world stood by again as nine Arab countries forced out nearly one million indigenous Jews, ethnically cleansing their countries of the Jewish people. The world did not even protest. Look at the numbers. In Algeria, the Jewish population plummeted from 140,000 in 1948 to less than 100 today. Iraq's ancient Jewish population plunged from 150,000 to just 100 in the year 2000. Look at the rest of the numbers. You can find them on standwithus.com. This is very, very important for you to know. The Jews were forced out of nine Arab countries with only the shirts on their backs. Penniless, they sought refuge and the fledgling, reborn Jewish state welcomed and absorbed them. But the persecution followed them, ethnically cleansed from Europe in the 30s and 40s, and from the nine Arab countries in the late 40s and 50s. They gathered in their ancestral homeland, in a state sanctioned by the international community, joining other Jews who were already living there. And in case you didn't know, by the end of the 1800s, Jews were the majority in Jerusalem. Yet now they are being persecuted, even in the Jewish state, they restored with their own blood and labor. We are here because we will not allow the people across the street to distort the reality that every Israeli, Jew and non-Jew alike, must live with the reality is that their neighbors, Hamas, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad, Iran, Syria, the reality is that they are working around the clock trying to find new and creative, horrific ways to destroy Israel. The PLO, Hamas, and Hezbollah's founding charters, their reason for being is to destroy Israel. Remember that when you talk about this issue. Why do they want to destroy Israel? Because they are trying to, to hound the Jews out of Israel. They are working overtime to turn the Jewish state into the hated Jews among nations. We will not let that happen. The people across the street would have you believe that this is justice to deny Israel the right to protect and defend itself against terrorism. 
I say they are advocating violence and injustice. The people across the street would have you believe that they support peace, but they support groups whose extremist religious leaders, media, and children's television shows indoctrinate children to hate and teach them to become suicide martyrs by killing as many Jews as possible. They support groups who organize terrorist training camps for young children who demonize Jews in Israel, who call Israel a cancer and deny that it has a right to exist. They support incitement to persecute and murder Jews. The people across the street, why are they not talking about this kind of genocide training? Why? We must say they are anti-peace and they support incitement and genocide. We must say they support the corrupt and violent leaders who are not only persecuting Jews, but they are also persecuting Palestinians by leading them towards violence. Do the Arab countries care about the Palestinians? When the Arab countries will begin to care more about the Palestinians than they do about destroying Israel, then there will be Palestinians that are thriving.